Hi guys, Arnold Broad here with another news update on men's sexual health. And in this news story, we're going to be talking about is erectile dysfunction reversible? And if you don't have enough time to stick around for the next three minutes, the answer is yes it is. But let's see how that is. So this was a government study called the Massachusetts Male Aging Study. And what they found was that once you started having ED, its severity was influenced by modifiable factors, meaning it's not genetic, it's not a disease process that can't be reversed, it's a lifestyle situation because modifiable factors generally mean diet, exercise, de-stress, etc., etc. So, what are some of the factors that they talked about in the study? Weight loss, smoking sensation, improving overall health by exercise, by proper diet, by proper food intake, have a great effect on the remission of ED, meaning it goes away, or by slowing its progression. Now, why would lifestyle situations stop ED from progressing very fast or make it go away completely? It's because ED is caused by poor blood flow. Because for an erection to happen, you have to have proper blood flow to the penis. Otherwise, you don't have an erection. Now, cardiovascular issues, high blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes, all contribute to erectile dysfunction and are all caused by, in most part, overweight, not exercising, smoking, bad diet. And what happens is that as your cardiovascular system deteriorates, a substance called nitric oxide stops being produced and nitric oxide is vitally important in the erection process. Now, they talk about some other factors but basically we sort of talked about them a little bit. Body mass index, it's not so much how much you weigh but how much you weigh in terms of your height and how much you smoke and in general, your general health, which is what we were talking about, cardiovascular issues or diabetes. So that the stronger your cardiovascular system is, the less likely you will have ED. And if you're watching these videos, you probably have it. So the more likely you are to be able to reverse it or certainly severely slow the progression of ED. I talked a little bit about nitric oxide being important for an erection and the erection process, and that's because nitric oxide will heal the cardiovascular system, which will improve, improve blood flow. So if you'd like to see a great video on nitric oxide therapy and how it can help cardiovascular issues such as high blood pressure and high cholesterol, how it helps with complications due to diabetes, and what we're talking about, how it helps erectile dysfunction, and just click on the arrow or follow the link to the nitric oxide therapy video in the description below this video. It also explains what I believe is the best delivery system for nitric oxide therapy, which is something called ProArginine Plus, and you'll be able to see that in the video also. If you have any questions about this, give me a call, 609-410-4790, and that phone number is also below this video. I want to thank you for stopping by and watching the video. Have a great day, and here's to your great health.